The strings on a guitar form an exponential function. If you take the distance from the bridge, that's this part down here, which is the end of the string, up to any of the frets along the way. This, this fret right here is the 12th fret, and if I play the string open, or fretting it at the 12th fret, which cuts it in half, you get the same note, but an octave different. And if I were to cut it in half again, up here somewhere, you get the same note, but again, an octave higher. So the way this works then is, if you wanna know the distance um, of any fret to the bridge of the guitar, you can measure the fret before it and then multiply by a ratio. There's a common ratio between uh, the lengths of every pair of adjacent frets. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna measure, I got a high quality tape measure here. I'm gonna measure the distance from the bridge up to each fret, uh, starting at the 12th one. I'm gonna record all that and we're gonna look at the difference between, uh, the, the ratio between uh, the lengths of adjacent frets to the bridge. So we're going to write this down. So the whole, first of all, the whole thing is called the scale. That's the length of the entire fretboard and it's 65, about 65.2 centimeters. And then the 12th fret, if I measure again from the bridge, is about 32.7 centimeters. Now that should be about half and I'm a little bit off in my measurements, but it's pretty close. We're going to keep going here. The 11th fret is uh, a little bit higher up and so it's 34.7 centimeters. The 10th fret is 36.8 centimeters. The 9th is 39 centimeters. And then the 8th is 41.3. I'm going to skip along a little bit here. The last couple of frets, the, the top fret is uh, 61.5. And then the 0th fret, which we call the nut, is uh, 65.2 if that's the entire scale length. So the interesting part here now is if you take the ratio by dividing this number by this number here, the ratio is, I have to multiply by one, but 1.061 1 will get me that number. And if I multiply this by 1.061, 1 I get that number. And if I continue, 1.06, this one works out to 1.060, and this one works out to 1.059. Now they should be actually all exactly the same. They're not, only because my tape measure is not so great. This last one here, if I multiply, is about 1.060. So overall we get this ratio, it looks like about 1.060 is the amount that you multiply every length by to get the next length. Now this is true not just on this particular guitar, it's true on every guitar or any other stringed instrument. So this is a ukulele. It is a lot smaller and it has the same effect though. This is the 12th fret here. If I play a note and then I fret it and play that note, it's the same note but, but one octave higher. And so if I measure this one, we're going to get the same kind of thing happening. So this one, the entire scale is 34.5 centimeters. It's about half the size of the other, of the guitar. The 12th fret is about half that distance. When I measure it, I get 17.1 centimeters. The 11th fret is 18.1, and then 19.2, and so on. And the last one, the first fret is 32.4. So again, let's take the ratio. Here to here is times 1.058. So that's by dividing this number by this number. That's finding out what it would take to multiply to go this direction. And to go here, this ratio is 1.061. And the ratios as I go through this, I'm not going to show you all the ones in between, they vary a lot from about 1.054, and I've got a 1.062, 1.063 as I measure all these. The last one I get actually is 1.065. They move around a lot and that's typical for a low quality instrument. The uh, the frets are not well spaced. But when you divide all this out, the, the typical ratio is again about 1.060. So that's normal. Let's see what the theoretical stuff looks like. So this is back to the, uh, the guitar lengths again. So the distance to the nut is 65.2. That's from the bridge to the nut, from the very bottom to the very top. We want it to be equal to the distance to the 12th fret times
times some ratio 12 times over. So you take your 12th fret distance and you're going to increase it by multiplying by a sum ratio 12 times. And I'm calling that ratio b. It's going to be the base of our exponential function. So to find out what this is, we have to simplify. I've simplified 65.2 divided by 2. That's the distance to the 12th fret. 32.6 should is what I would expect. Divide both sides by 32.6. That's the same as 2 equals b to the 12th. That means that if I multiply by the same ratio 12 times, I should double the length of the string. To solve this, I'm going to raise both sides to the 1 12th power. This side, 12 times 1 12th will be 1. That's from our exponent laws. This will leave us with b. And on this side, I have 2 to the 12th. Or we can call that the 12th root of 2. That's definitely calculator worthy, and it's about 1.059. So it looks like my guitar is well set up, my ukulele not so much, but that's how the exponential function works. We find out how many frets we want, 12, to double the length of the string. We simplify both sides to get to that common ratio. That's it. Thanks.